Hello, my name is Chris. For today, I'm going to show you how to install Guacamole on Casa OS using Big Bear uh, Casa OS, which is a third party app store that's maintained by me in the Big Bear community. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So we're going to start on the Big Bear Casa OS App Store. It's a third-party app store that I maintain and the Big Bear community does. Um, so I'm going to scroll down. You can see that I added guacamole. So I'm going to go up to apps and then guacamole. And then here's the readme on getting it installed. And then Docker Compose. So the name is Big Bear a guacamole uh, that, uh, that uh, that's for the uh the name of the cost os app and then the services and service underneath the services is called guac uh, d and then the image is coming from guacamole and then guac d that's coming from docker hub because there's no url in the beginning and then restart always so uh no, no matter if you stop it or anything it'll always try to restart the app service config oration so I set an app underneath the services and then the image will be guacamole guacamole and then it'll be coming off docker hub and restart always so it'll restart always even if you stop it or anything and then now we're going to link this service so we're going to link this to this one and then now environment variables for the guac cd host name is guac cd and then mysql so my, my sequel guacamole to be guacamole user and some password and then now we're going to map the port so 8090 is on the host 8080 is on the container and my sequel service configuration so we're going to set a my sequel service underneath the services and then the image is coming from MySQL, and then we're going to use 5.7. We're going to set it to always restart. And then we're going to set some environment variables. So MySQL root password is MySQL pa a password. And then um, MySQL database is guacamole DB. A my my MySQL user is guacamole user. And then MySQL password is some password. Uh, uh, these will line up with these. So these. We'll go into this. So now we're gonna set a volume. So data, app data, and then a, a dynamic variable to get the actual name. And that will be this one right here. So in, in MySQL, so this is on the host side in, uh, and then in the container is var lib MySQL. And then we're gonna set some cost OS specific configuration so we're going to set the architecture of what the image can be used on and it's amd64 not arm and then the, the main service of application will, will be main so this will line up with this one so there you go and then we're going to set a description a tagline the developer author icon and then thumbnail and then title and then the category that will be in which is big bear casa os and then we're going to set the port map to 8090. This will line up with this one right here because this one's going into this one. So that's the configuration. So we're going to get Big Bear Casa OS installed now. So now I'm going to get Big Bear Casa OS installed on Casa OS. So I'm going to go down here to App Store URL. I'm going to copy it. You will need a 0.4.4 or later. Um, for Casa OS a version. So I'm gonna go over to my Casa OS now and put this in. So I'm gonna go to my app store. Then I'm gonna add source right here. And then the text input will come out. I'm gonna paste in the URL that I copied. I'm gonna add. And then now we have 88 apps. So I'm going to refresh. Go back in the app store. I got a Big Bear Casa OS right here. 
And then I'm going to scroll down and you're gonna see guacamole. I'm gonna install. What this is doing is it's setting up all the services underneath and uh, I'm making it to where it, it downloads it from Docker Hub and then it extracts it and then it it, uh, it uh, puts them up and starts them and everything from Docker Compose in the background. So I'm gonna continue in background and this can get stuck so I'm gonna refresh and then now we have guacamole installed. So now I'm gonna go over the container options. So you can go up these vertical dots right here and you can open the web UI. You can put your custom tips in here so you can write your custom tip and then you can press the save button. It will reload the container in the background and say it's okay. You can go back into tips, you can see it's saved. And then you can go into settings and you can check change the settings for each one of these services. And um, since it is a third party app store, you can have multiple services up here. And um, I'm gonna go down here to, I'm gonna go over here to app, and then I'm gonna change it to guacamole. And then I'm gonna press save, then it'll reload it. Just checking for a newer image. Sometimes that can get stuck. So you need to reload the page. And then settings, you can go back in here. You can cha change things. Um, if you do uh, uh, want to debug anything, you can go up to their ter terminal and then you can go in the logs and see the logs. It's really handy. You can export the Docker Compose right here. So I'm going to go out of that. And then you can check for updates for the current tag it's on. And then uninstall, restart, power off and on. So I'm going to show you where the files are located for Big Bear Guacamole. So I'm going to open app data and then you can check mark this and you can download it copy it cut it delete it and cancel so you can go in here and you can see my mysql directory you can see all the files so that's how to look for the files of guacamole so we're going to get the ui running now so if we go and open it you're going to receive an error because the database is not set up yet. So I'm going to go out of here and then I'm going to go to set settings up here. And then I'm going to go to my SQL tab right here. And then I'm going to go down to host the volume. I'm going to copy this path and then I'm going to go out of here and then I'm going to set, set up my SSH. So I'm going to go up to terminal logs right here and then I'm going to put in the username and password. So now I'm SSH'd into it. So I'm gonna clear it. I'm gonna CD into the MySQL directory. And then I'm gonna show you that it is there. So I'm gonna clear it. And then I'm going to go over to Big Bear Costa OS and I'm gonna run a container. So I'm gonna go to uh, apps. Then I'm gonna go guac guacamole. And then I'm gonna run the container right here to generate the .sql file. So now I'm back in my cost OS. So I'm going to paste it in and I'm gonna run it. So what this uh, done is it run the guacamole container. It ran this command right here and generated the .sql file. 
So if we ls in here, so we generated this file right here. So that should be good. So now we've got the file on the MySQL volume. So I'm gonna go out of here. So now the UI is not working still because all we done was generate the .sql file. So now we need to import that .sql file inside of the database. We'll that, do that with the uh, MySQL command. So I'm gonna go back over to BigBrickCost OS and then I'm going to go to run this command to create the database in the MySQL con con container. So we're gonna use the MySQL uh, CLI, then we're gonna set the user, and then we're gonna ask for a password. We're gonna uh, be in the guacamole D DB, and then we're gonna import this .sql inside of the database right here of guacamole DB. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back to my cost OS, and then I'm gonna go to guacamole right here, go, go up these vertical dots, and then settings. And then if you scroll down when you're on the MySQL one, you, you'll see var lib MySQL right here. So that's what we will need to be CD into. So I'm gonna go to terminal and logs. And now we're in the container. So I'm gonna go var lib my, MySQL. And then now if you, if you see it, we're in it. And we see it in it db.sql right here. So I'm gonna paste the command, then I'm gonna run it, and then we will put the password of the MySQL in, and that's some password. And then now we should have the database initialized. So I'm gonna see if the UI works now. So I'm gonna go open it, and then here you go, you have your login. So I'm gonna put guac admin. Uh, this is the same for the password. So clock admin, and this is the default username and password. So I'm gonna log in. You can see recent connections. I'm gonna go up to settings right here. And then you can see active connections, history, users. You can create a new user. You can go into groups, you can create groups. And then you can create a, a new connection and a new group. You can uh, change your language, uh, your time zone, your current password. You can change your default input method and your default uh, uh, mouse simulation mode. So now that we got guacamole up and running, I'm gonna go up the top right and set, set settings. I'm going to go to the connections because I'm gonna create a new connection. I'm gonna create a connection to Casa OS with SSH. So I'm gonna uh, say new connection. And then we'll give a connection a name, so Casa OS. I'm gonna change the protocol to SSH. Scroll down to network. I'm gonna give a host name of the IP address of the Casa OS. So now I'm gonna say the port is 22. And then the username is gonna be root. Password is gonna be your SSH password. So now I'm going to scroll down I'm gonna say save. We now have the connection in there, so you can just click it and you can edit the details again. I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna go up the top right again, go to home. We can see a connection right here. So I'm gonna see if it works. I'm gonna click it. It works. So let's see if we can run a command. And we can. So that's how to get guacamole running on Casa OS. So if you're in a session, and you go into session and you're like, it takes over your whole browser. Um, you're gonna type exit and then return or enter. And then you're logging out. So you can uh, go back to home. You can reconnect to the session or you can log out. I'm gonna go back to home. So that's how to exit guacamole. So I just walked you through step by step on getting guacamole running on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS. Um, so this makes it where it's easy one click installation, then you do have to initialize the database. I went over all that and sh showed you the terminal works and how to exit it. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or need support, you can go out to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So. Stay tuned for more.